Well, I am, I am single. I've been single for a year. And uh, I've had sex with ladies in that year. But they've been different kinds and only one time. So I don't know what that says about me. But here's the thing with being single. It's strange. You know you've been single for a little too long when your biggest joy in life now comes when you see a couple argue in public. <laughs> There's nothing greater. <laughs> nothing just makes you think I was right not to get into any relationships. Look at that woman. She's angry about shoes. And look at that man. He has no fucking idea what she's talking about. <laughs> And they're just always standing there in that tone. They're not arguing like normal. If you argue with your friend, they're shouting and pointing accusations. A couple arguing, there's none of that. They're just standing there, hunched over, angrily whispering at each other. Because they don't want anyone to know that they're having a fight. And the only problem with that plan is that no one conveys positive information in this tone of voice. You've never been at a nice dinner party and someone walks up to you, excuse me. <laughs> Did you prepare this chutney? <laughs> well, may I say, it is delicious. <laughs> I saw a couple arguing on the tube as I was coming over, and it was fantastic. And then at a certain point, the man uh, realized he was arguing with a woman and has no chance of winning. So he did what every man does in that situation. He decided, well, I'm gonna say something ridiculous and then I'm getting off this train. And that's what he did. He stood up tall, put his finger in her face, which is risky, because she could have bitten that finger. And he said, you know what, Donna? I don't want to hear about your periods. They are disgusting. And I thought, what a ridiculous thing to say because a woman's menstrual cycle is not disgusting. It is a beautiful celebration of the fact you are not a father for another 30 days. <laughs>